Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from near Daytona Beach for AdWeb. You know, as a videographer, I always think it would be nice to have a camera operator who could just raise the camera or lower the camera to get whatever shot I want. Well, that's exactly what we're doing today here. We're shooting with a DJI Inspire drone. This is the latest drone from DJI, which is the biggest manufacturer of drones uh, in the world, commercial and uh, consumer grade. And Alex Wright of Drone Depot is going to run us through some of this technology, and then we're going to fly a couple of them. Uh, so you've seen a little bit of these drones flying in the introductory role, and now uh, Alex is going to uh, talk to us about the, one of the most popular drones, which is the DJI. This is the Phantom 2 Vision, I think you called Phantom it? Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Okay, so, so yeah. what are some of the capabilities of this uh, aircraft? So this is our entry level uh, ready to fly system. So everything, again, out of the box, you have included camera, three axis of stabilization. So it's, again, a camera track in the air, perfectly stable at all times with these brushless motors. And uh, we'll come with remote control and it will actually establish a Wi-Fi connection using your existing Wi-Fi connection on your, on your smartphone. And it will extend it with this range extender out, out to about 800 meters and then allow you to see live view from the camera. And this is our entry level at 1299. This is a drone we most see, I think, in the news and, and people are flying yeah. it both positively and negatively, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, it's the most popular drone in, in the world because it's so flyable, the, it's, the flight controller, it's fly-by-wire, so when you release that control, it's staying in the same position. Um, so every, everybody who uh, has a positive experience and doesn't want to crash <coughs> is buying the system. So it, it does mean that really anyone can, can get into this. I, I've been live on national television and shown a reporter how to fly this with, within 30 seconds. I had her flying confidently. Okay, let's take a look at the, the next model. Okay, Alex, we've uh, looked at the earlier model of the DJI. This is a new Inspire. This has some really incredible capabilities. Why don't you run us through the basics? Yeah, absolutely. Well, they built this system to be a ready-to-fly professional aerial system. So you're going to have all the same features that we had in our $10,000 professional drones in this $2899 ready-to-fly package. You don't have to assemble it. It, it comes ready to go out of the box. So you've got your 4K camera here with three axis of stabilization, which means you can hit any sort of turbulence, wind, and it will always stay perfectly steady, like a camera track in the air. We have um, these retractable landing gear, which is another high-end professional feature. And the landing gear gets out of the way of the camera yes, view. Yes, exactly. So it's, it's going to raise up above here. We're able to now rotate around 360 degrees unobstructed. And then I press a button on the back, and it will refocus on, on uh, forward orientation. Let's yeah. talk about that a little bit. Sure. This, this has a, uh, sophistic a little more sophisticated uh, flight, automatic flight stabilization Absolutely. than the Phantom does. What are some of the things that it does that it knows how to go back to where it started and, mm -hmm. and will, will automatically find out where, go back to where it needs to be? Well, it's called a fly-by-wire system. <clears throat> so it's using, uh, you're, when you're flying it manually, quote unquote, it's actually uh, fly-by-wire, so it, it is, you're giving it GPS coordinates and it's compensating for wind and turbulence, and so it's, posi it's position holding. Now, what you get with this downward-facing optics, which is something, uh, when combined with GPS, it's able to lock onto the ground and really stay extremely, extremely steady uh, when, when you're uh, about 10, 10 feet from the ground and below. Uh, and the other advantage of that is when you're going full throttle uh, in a horizontal direction, if you release those controls, it's going to just stop on a dime. Let's say you're you know, worried you're going to run into that, uh, that row of trees, you just release the controls and it will just stop. And, and, you, can, and uh, you also do not need to fight it when, to keep it in one position, which is a lot of these multi-rotors, you'd have to be constantly doing micro-adjustments to keep it in one spot. How about the controllers? Yeah, so the controllers uh, have a lot of software integration in it. So before you'd have to go through your application and you know press record, uh, you know move up and down to to control. Now you have everything built in. So you have camera tilt here, up and down. You have record video. 
you have your flight modes here, that's on all of them. Uh, you can actually manually control uh, your exposure, which is an amazing feature. Let's say you, the, the clouds change, your, your, your shot changes, you're, you're, not, you're facing the, the sky and you get a white out, you just adjust your exposure. It's great. And then also this, this button here, snap a photo. Instead of our old systems, uh, you'd have to set everything on the ground basically. And then, so if you wanted to take photos, you'd have to have it, you'd have your uh, camera set at an interval of five seconds, take a photo every five seconds. Now you can just remote. Now normally, uh, if you're doing this in a professional setting, shooting commercially, you'd have two guys, one operating the camera exactly. and one operating yep. the uh, aircraft. And so he has his own control box. Mm -hmm, yeah, so th this is this is another one of those high-end features. You have a separate camera operator. So with this remote control, I'm controlling the drone, and with this remote control, I can just use this lever here, and I'm controlling camera independently. And the and the other nice thing is I can set it to something called a free free camera mode. So when I rotate the camera, it's always going to keep the same orientation, no matter what way the, uh, the drone is facing. So you know, this is something I really enjoyed doing the other day, is I was flying by a bridge with a, with a, a drawbridge with a building on it. I, I had a camera operator, so I was able to just have the drone flying forward, and then my camera operator kept perfectly focused on, on, the, on this drawbridge and uh, had an amazing shot. And that's something, you know, at a, at a Hollywood level, professional level, that's absolutely required. Well, so much for the technical part of it. Let's go fly it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. So maybe it's wrong to say you fly these quadcopters because what you really do is operate their impressively sophisticated auto flight stabilization systems. Think of it as flying an autopilot in heading and altitude select mode. As Alex Wright said, the base mode of the DJI drones is hands-off automatic hovering. What flying is involved is to displace the quad from that state by yawing it, changing the altitude with throttle, or translating it horizontally, or some combination of those. As you can see, it really wants to stay put. As with RC scale flying, it's easy to operate if you take it slow and remember that when the quad is facing away from you, translation commands are reversed. That's what those two red LEDs are all about. They indicate the nose of the vehicle. The left stick controls throttle with fore and aft movement, yaw with left and right movement. The right stick controls roll and pitch, and that's how the quad translates. The level of sophistication here definitely rivals GA aircraft. Both the Phantom and Inspire use blended GPS positioning, barrel altimetry, and accelerometer input to hold position and attitude. The Inspire even has ground proc sensing that will automatically extend the landing gear if you forget to. That's to protect that camera, which is another piece of impressive technology. Like the newest GoPro, it's 4K capable, but it can be configured entirely on the fly if necessary. So is this technology a camera that flies, or just a sophisticated flying gadget that also has a camera? Well, it's both, but the camera and taking pictures is its reason for being. And for serious photography, you'll need both a drone pilot and a camera flyer. For most of us, that's a new kind of flying, and it's only going to get more interesting from here. Thanks to Alex Wright and Ron Bishop for some DJI stick time. You can find out more at DroneDepot.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.